The children were stroking my legs because I'm wearing shiny running trousers and they've now turned into pussycats. <laughs> <laughs> this is all very slightly peculiar. Don't you know the pussycats rub their owner's legs with their feet? Well, yes, I suppose they do. I just... Hello? <laughs> <laughs> we ought to get ready for school. <laughs> yes, I have been out for a run this morning. Yes, I do feel great. No, I haven't had a shower yet. I'm not entirely sure whether that's going to happen at all. Them's the brakes. She's the most ticklish girl in the world. <laughs> well, I just went to lie down next to a sad dog. You can see him there in the background with his cone of shame on. It is 10 to 1. And uh, literally, as you can see, just to come out of the shower, um, today has been quite eventful. I did my run. Uh, stayed in my um, sweaty, horrible exercise gear because I knew I was taking the dog out. Um, what I didn't expect was for him to get a pretty gruesome gash or a slice on his leg. He was jumping in and out of the water and I would imagine there was a the broken glass or something in there because it's just it's just sliced straight through uh, but of course we we're in the middle of the woods so I got back to the road and it was kind of go right to the vets or left to go home so obviously I went right to the vets I had my keys and some poo bags with me and that was it but they are absolutely brilliant. Amory Vets in Borden, I'm so grateful, thank you. They knew I had no money with me, they knew I had no ID with me, nothing, but they were fantastic with him. Uh, they did try stapling it, but it's just, because it's a kind of a slice, it's, the skin is too thick, and he's quite grouchy. So they've wadded it up and bandaged it, and because he will try and get the bandage off, he's got his cone of shame on, and he's on antibiotics and whatnot and I've got to go back on Friday afternoon to have him checked out. Poor boy. I think he's feeling really sorry for himself. We had to walk home as well. They put a little baggy, like a little sock on his foot so that <laughs> it stayed clean. It was really sweet but really sad at the same time. You all right, baby? Oh, it's not good, is it? <laughs> it's not good. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> he hasn't quite worked out that the cone pretty much gets in the way of everything. Poor oh boy. Yeah, you can't lick my face. Alright, okay. Lick it that way. Oh, I love you. Yes, I do. But the only time I'm ever going to let you lick my face, because I don't normally like it. On the plus side, my cleaner's been here this morning, so the horse looks stunning, and uh, I haven't been here to mess it up. So uh, it's all pretty good. No, don't put your willy in my face. This will not be great camera angle. Not remotely flattering. I don't care, I've got this willy in my face. That's weird. I'm trying again with boots. I'm not optimistic. However, this time I have measured and whatnot gone to somewhere my friend Louise sent me a link for Simply B who do uh, really 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 wide carved boots if that makes sense I'm gonna give it a go oh my god I'm a bit stunned. Let's try the other one. 
So I don't quite know how I feel because although they fit really nicely around my calves, they're quite big. They're slipping off my heels. I think they might be too big. Some thinking is required. <laughs> 